The title is a little bit clickbaity, but bear with me because I really do think there is some value here. I have built my career on basically distilling really complex and often long topics and trying as much as possible to humanize them and to connect the most valuable insights with viewers, readers, however people are looking at content. I used to do that a lot in my corporate job as well. And I've actually found people who do the same thing, either in work at a meeting teams or as part of kind of communities that I mean, are really valuable people with that ability to look at lots of information, distill it into something that is useful and give me the key things. And now with AI, because everything is with AI these days, right? There's a lot of opportunities for each of us who want to do this to become what I call the most valuable person at work. I look at that as those individuals who can distill information, make it applicable, humanize it, get insights that people can actually take action on. I just think they're, they're great people to have and it's, it really is a skill. If you're not so good at doing that in, shall we call the physical realm at the moment, how can we merge the digital and physical together? And as I say, there's a great opportunities here with AI. So let's take some examples. Most people will generally go to some of the top places like HBR, McKinsey and Company and BCG for insights, which is great. They've got lots of great content. Often there's loads of it and it can be quite complex. So what you want to do is look at the opportunities that you have in your own communities, in your teams to say, how can I focus on topics that are relevant to these people? And what is your key take on this? So what I'm not saying here is use AI just to regurgitate all of this stuff. What I would encourage you to do is first of all, perform a human review of that content, distill in your own mind, what are the most important things to you on that topic? And then get really clear on what's your key take. So if you read a bunch of reports or research or articles or whatever it is, instead of regurgitating all of that stuff, think about what is that key take that you want to give people? What do you want them to walk away with? How can you serve them best on that topic? One of the ways to do that, as I say, is that you can look at all these articles from companies like this and more. And then what we can then do is start to bring AI into play once you've done kind of your own top level review. So we've got a topic, you know, hopefully you've defined what is your kind of key take, and then you'll get together all of your sources that you've used to define A, the topic you want to talk about and your key take. And then what we can do is use AI to enhance that kind of key outcome or key take that you're looking for. So I'll kind of give you my own playbook that I do. I love to use Notebook LM as a research and analysis tool. So my own process would be to take those sources that I've been reading to put that into a tool like Notebook LM, where it can look at all different sources at the same time and then provide the context on my own review, what I think are the key in science and then what my key take is. And then I'll work with Notebook LM either to validate some of that, to challenge that, to open different perspectives that maybe I haven't seen in any of that content that I am currently reviewing. So Nobig Adam is really great for that. If of interest, I will do a separate video on how I do that step by step, but I've got a bunch of other videos where I talk about using Notebook LM. Of course, that is not the only tool on the market for that. You know, Gemini, ChatGPT, DeepSeek, many, many more have all research or deep research or reasoning model capabilities at the moment in time. So there's lots of tools for you to choose from in order to do that next level of research and analysis. Notebook LM is my favorite. But what I like is that we can get this, not separate, but an enhanced view on all of those sources that you are looking at to then combine with what already your key take is and how you can provide the best information based on that key take or topic. Then what we want to do is before you present that to anyone, you want to refine that. Now, what I mean by refining that is that how do you create whatever document or newsletter or video or email 
that you want to share with people looks like and is structured. Because most stuff that we get out of, say, these tools, as an example, there's going to be lots of it. It's not always going to be greatly structured, especially for a human. So what we then want to do is then two things. So you can use tools like ChatGPT and Claude, which I think are very good at structuring writing, especially when it comes to some data and research. And of course, your brain. Yes, as shocking as it might be, you still need to use that in this process. This is still very much a human powered process with AI augmentation. So that you can refine that by saying, are you going to create an executive summary? Are you creating a one pager? Are you creating an email? And then work with these tools if you want to, or just use your brain to write the thing, to write out, you know, what is the topic? Why should people care about it? What's your key take? What can they learn from that? And I think the ability to do this is a real skill. The ability to distill information, to humanize it, to present it in a way that people understand so they can take action can make you a really valuable member of any of the spaces that you contribute to because people will look at you as an individual that is serving them with high quality information. So again, this is just one way where I think about how can we collaborate with AI? How can we still retain our human elements and be human powered? And as I always say, this is about co-collaboration. And this is an example of my own world of some of the ways that I do this from time to time, especially when I'm working on big projects nowadays. I mean, it'll be stupid for me not to use some of the most powerful tools that we've had in human history to help me do that. But remember, what we always want to do is we do a human review first of that content. We get really clear on what is the topic we want to talk to people about. And then we refine what is our key take. So what is the thing that we want to showcase, the thesis, the point, whatever it is, get clear on that first, gather all those sources and that context, then go to AI tools for research and analysis to then work through that, to ask challenging questions, play devil's advocate, get different points of review, and then bring all of that together, refine it, and then you can share it with all the different spaces and communities that you're working in. So look, that's a bit of a long one. I hope it's helpful and I will speak to you in the next one.